This is adhesive. If a limb gets ripped apart, you can reattach it with this thing. You can also turn humans into robots with this Neuralink thing. This is to extract a heart. This is a bone saw. This is a normal house with a normal Bob walking home from the store and two other Bobs playing Russian roulette in the living room with a couple of drinkies alongside with it because what could possibly go wrong with that? While that all is happening, of course, we've got Bob up here fixing the heater or whatever for the house. There's, there's a button here that I could press. I don't really know if I want to press it. Something might happen. Yeah, nothing's nothing's happening. The button doesn't button doesn't button. To your normal eyes, this might look like just your average house with average people in it. But oh no, there is a flood happening. Look at that. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh no. How will this house fare in this experiment? There's only one way to find out. Bob is floating up towards the surface over here. These guys playing the Russian roulette is going to get submerged soon. Oh, buddy, this is not good. This is not what you want. There's also lamps over here with electricity or whatnot. So we might have some issues at our hands. Okay, it's flooding above the roof now. It is going to submerge the whole house. This is not where you want to be in the middle of a tsunami that has just rushed over your house, okay? Can I turn on these lights? I can! Probably not a good idea to do while the house is being submerged in water. Okay, so everything is underwater here and we've got some casualties. Humans are not feeling too well. They are being, you know, they're inhaling water. What can you expect? It's not what you should do. That totally happened. Ah! Now let's imagine for a second that this water that is rushing through your house is actually from the Arctic and it's freezing cold. What would happen to Bob's? Oh, I don't know, but we're about to find out. And they are, they're actually being frozen. <laughs> they're, they're being frozen. Oh no, this is amazing. Oh, it's just rising up and the whole house is gonna get flooded again. And these two are gonna get, well, that's, that's a cold shower if I've ever seen one. And you know, he fixed the heating water radiator or whatever. And not now he doesn't need to do that anymore because it's actually minus 107 degrees Celsius. This thermometer is telling me that. So what should you do in this situation then, huh? Well, you could just snap your fingers and everything would be back to normal, except now there's a lava tsunami coming your way. Oh, what are you going to do? This is not something that you want. A lava wave of death is coming towards you. And it's actually, it's lifting the whole car up because it's more denser than water. It's breaking the house. Even bricks are starting to melt and burn. Russian roulette, not anymore. It's more like not even roulette. Oh my, it's, they're just being submerged in lava. Oh my God. Oh, this is insane. Oh my, oh God, there's explosions happening. The house is fully submerged in lava. The only way you could have survived this, okay, is if you stood on top of this car. Now, let me just see if that would actually be possible though. No, no, the car is actually heated up to super temperatures, so it would not be possible. I really do feel sorry for Bob because it's back and a fourth wave or whatever it is, is gonna arrive, okay? This tsunami has been through Chernobyl, okay? And it's infused with radioactive waste, which is why everything is now being filled with acid, okay? It's not pleasant, this. Oh my god, no, Bob is being, oh no, he's in pieces. Oh my, okay, my computer is in pieces as it looks. Oh Christ, oh buddy, that's not good. Okay, levels are rising. Russian roulette is not on the table anymore, but your limbs are. Oh my Christ, this is not, not going well, this. Okay, let's just turn on slow motion. Maybe we can get some more frames like that. Oh, we can. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. It's safe to say that you don't want a tsunami hitting your house that has been through Chernobyl. No bueno. Now, if you've just been a part of a tsunami or many, you probably want to visit the hospital. Now, this might look familiar, but I assure you it is not. Down here in the left, we've got some new stuff, okay? This is pretty insane. We've got spare human parts. We've got brains, we've got lungs, we've got hearts, and we've even got the means to extract these body parts from living humans and replacing it with healthy ones if they're injured. 
or not. I might just do it for fun anyway. We've got crutches if they can't walk. We're gonna test that out. We've got scalpels. We've got these ones over here that are lung retractors. These ones are made for lobotomy. So if you wanna extract the brain, you can do that. And this is for actually, you know, getting the brain out of it. Pretty cool. This is adhesive. If a limb gets ripped apart, you can reattach it with this thing. You can also turn humans into robots with this Neuralink thing. This is to extract a heart. This is a bone saw. And then we've got these, which are exfoliation solution. I totally didn't have a cheat list open all this time. And these ones are splints. So if you've got a broken leg or whatever, we can fix it up. Now, what do we need for all of this to work? A doctor, however, Bob over here doesn't quite look the part yet, so we need to dress him up. We can put him in doctor's clothing. Oh, buddy! We can even put on a surgical mask. Ah, mask on! There you go. And then latex gloves, because it's not only for weird activities, it's also for experimenting on humans. And would you look at that? We've got our first test subject. This, of course, is a healthy human, so we can't do anything against healthy humans. So we need to cause a minor injury. He's out playing baseball. He's playing around with a baseball bat and boom, it breaks his le leg. There we go. The leg is broken. Now I'm assuming with a broken leg, you are not able to walk properly. No, you see, no, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, you're, you, you can't really do it properly. So let's give you some crutches. Let's see if this actually works. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Okay, could you just grab the crutch real real quick? There you go. Could you just, there you go. And now you're going to walk with the crutches. Oh, ah, that's, that's not the way you walk with crutches, buddy. That's not, okay, he fell asleep. <laughs> just grab a bed here real quick. There we go. And put Bob on top of it. Now, the good thing about these beds are... Uh, they're actually full of neurotoxins. So Bob over it. Oh, hello there. Now I can just do it on you. I don't need a fresh Bob to do it on. You with the broken leg will suffice. So just, there you go, lay down. They are filled with neurotoxins, which means if I activate the bed, Bob will go to sleep and he will stay asleep for as long as he's on the bed. <laughs> How amazing is that? Okay, so let's just put Bob over here like that. Perfect. Oh, just like that. I'm not gonna hurt you too much. There we go. You're gonna be asleep as well because we can't have any witnesses. All right, Surgeon Bob into position. Here we go. Now, where should we start? What seems to be the problem with this human? Let's investigate. Hmm. He has a loss of consciousness. That tells me that there's something wrong with his brain. So why don't we get it out of there and replace it with a fresh one? So first we need a scalpel. There we go, just like that. A neat little incision. Nobody's gonna know that happened, except me. <laughs> and then we're gonna get the brain cla- Did Bob just wake up from a- from- Oh my god, you're supposed to be under- No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, he's back asleep. Oh, thank god, that's not good. You know, having somebody with an open skull getting running around in the hospital? We don't want that. Okay, so let's get the brain calipers, and let's just- Let's just extract the brain- Extract the- there might be some, might be some issues here real quick. Okay, so let's just, uh, where's the, where's the scalpel? Where'd the scalpel go? Yeah, it's whatever. Okay, so incision, there we go. Brain things. <laughs> and there we go. Healthy brain out of the face. Right, and let's just put it here on the floor because after a while, the brain will begin to deteriorate and get bad, which is why I've got these fresh ones in cold storage. All right, let's just get one of these healthy brains out of here. Let's move the lungs. Here we go, let's put the heart up there on the on the top shelves and let's get this one and plunk it in. Oops, and plunk it in. Come on, just get in there. Eh, 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 eh. Son of a... Why won't he receive the brain? Oh, oopsie. All right, it is time to get the sutures. There we go, let's get the sutures on here. That will stop the bleeding. Then we need to reattach the face to the body. Now, how do we do that? Remember the adhesives that I talked about? Yeah, this will do. Okay, so plunk that on there. Oh, no, no, no. The head got attached to the surgeon's body. That's not what I wanted. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> everything. Oh, no. Okay. Now, the only correct way to take care of a mishap like this is to make sure that nobody ever knows it happens, which is why we take them to the back door and... Yep. All right, now I actually want to try and see if I can... Oh my god, these humans are just... They just keep coming back. Ah! Welcome back, Surgeon Bob. Now, 
we're gonna see if we can replace some lungs. Now, how do we do that? First of all, we need somebody with damaged lungs, <laughs> which is where this comes into play. Oh God, Bob, stop. You know what? You are gonna be perfect for this, okay? First of all, we need to make sure that the lungs are damaged. How do we do that? Well, we make them drown. And this is it. This is how you do it. You just wait for a little bit and he's gonna be without air and any second now, he's gonna not feel too well. And... <laughs> Now, while we wait for that to happen, shouldn't we tell people to subscribe to the channel? Because this is the kind of weird stuff they can expect. Yup, 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 yup. I totally didn't make him say that. How is Bob feeling? Is he, uh, s s let's uh, inspect him real quick. Let's see how he's doing. Oxygen levels are critically low, which is perfect. There we go. And now when he's in this state, we can take him and we can put it in here in the bed. There you go. Now he's going to be moving a lot. So we need to strap him down safely, of course, with rope. There you go, strapping him down to the bed. There you go. And nice. Now we need to make sure he sleeps. There you go. And then scalpel. Here we go. Just a small little incision. There we go. And then we are going to extract the lungs with these ones. Here we go. And eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where your lung will go. There it is. <laughs> now these ones are damaged, of course. So we're just gonna yoink. And we're gonna take a pair of fresh lungs from over here. And we're gonna put them in your body. Put them in your, put them in your, oh my, I really, I really wanna, I really wanna know how you put them in a body. It's, it's not really working. It's not cut for them in the body. It's not, it's not. Now, I seem to be having some minor difficulties with patients accepting the lungs and hearts that have been in storage for over th three years. So, I'm just gonna have to use somebody that is not damaged. Sorry, Surgeon Bob, but you had it coming. Could you just fall asleep a little quick? There you go. Nice. And then we're going to replace your heart. Okay? It's gonna be easy. Now, I know that you're gonna wake up in a little bit, so I'm just gonna strap you down safely. There you go. Now you shouldn't be able to move. And let's get the final scalpel. And let's this time actually replace a body part, okay? Ah! Heart it is, there we go. And let's get this bit over here. And then we're gonna remove the heart. There we go, just like this. Throw that away, get a new heart and plunk it in. And he's back. I have done a heart surgery. I've officially changed Bob's heart and he feels a-okay. Now let's just get him off from these little restraints here. Let's see how he feels. Are you, uh, let's just inspect here. Did I, uh, did I actually do it? I did it. And just to make sure, Ashley, fine. I'm gonna put a little bit of IV in you. Don't mind, it's just, it's just to be safe. There we go. Just pump that all in, it's all good. It's, it should make you feel better if, if not anything else. There you go. And you are good to go. Psych! You're not. Get back there. You just decided to survive my operation. Well, you're not gonna survive it for long. And sleep. There we go, right. Now let's take your arms over here. Let's strap them to the bed, just like this. Let's replace every organ there is. Scalpel. Let's get the heart out. Boom. This is actually a good one. This is the one that I just replaced. It's fine. Let's get the brain out. I know it says that he's, you know, not feeling too well, but it's all good. I can assure you that I can get him back to being healthy. Okay. And then we also need to get the lungs out. Where's the lung thing? Where is it? Okay. And scalpel. There we go. And then get the lungs out. There we go. All right. I've got the lungs and I've got the heart and I've got the brains. Everything needs to be changed. So let's grab the fresh one from over here. The lungs. In you go. Oh, it gone bad. It, it did gone. Oh, God. Come on. I need you to get the heart right now. It's not. It's not that. Come on. Come on. Okay. And accept it. There you go. Nice. New heart. There you go. And a new brain. <gasps> He's gaining consciousness. And then we need new lungs. In you go. Come on, get in there. Oh, he doesn't want new lungs for some reason. Come on. Oh, wait, he's alive. I did it. Oh, I actually replaced every single organ in a human body. Well, not really. I, I, I replaced three of them. But Bob is fine. Ah, oh, amazing. Now, I didn't get to use these machines. They're actually respirator machines. So if somebody has punctured lungs or no oxygen to be alive, these should uh, to totally fix that. So to see if it works, I'm really sorry, Bob, but it had to be done. And then we're gonna attach you to the respirator. So you won't be, what? come on, there you go. You won't be able to breathe, but you will be able to live. <laughs> 
an infinite glitch. This is the way humans can live underwater. Just have some oxygen thing strapped to your back and like, th this is it. This is the solution. At least I think it is. Look, oxygen levels are fine. Blood amount is fine. Consciousness, he's totally okay. He's submerged in water. Let's remove this line and see what happens. <gasps> you see oxygen levels are going down. He's starting to feel some pain. As you can see, the oxygen levels are critically low. I'm gonna strap this line to him and the oxygen is back. There you go. And he's totally okay again. He can live underwater forever. Problem solved. You know what problem isn't solved though? The way I end these videos. <laughs>